Hello everyone, today's manga review will be going over Samurai Shampoo, a two volume series um, by Manglow. This was originally an anime produced in 2004-2005 and then due to its popularity we got a manga release by Tokyo Pop, which only got two volumes here before it got cancelled or not continued on here. Um, they also did release it in omnibus form after, but I have the singles here that I got used. So this series follows the same sort of overall plot line of the anime. We have a girl named Fu. Let's see if I can find a picture of her here. But basically she is looking for a samurai that smells of sunflowers. I'm trying to find a picture over here. <laughs> So, yeah, so you have that. You have also Mugen. And you have Jin here, our other main character here. So, those are our sort of three trifecta characters who all play off of each other. Um, Mugen is more of the spunky character who sort of plays around and has a unique fighting style, which is almost like a form of dance. Something kind of cool about this series is that. It's set in the Edo period uh, in Japan, but it also has some sort of modern aspects of hip hop, um, graffiti, some more like grungy type stuff as well in it, which I think is pretty a uh, unique mashup. In the anime, you have uh, music by Nujabes, which fantastic if you haven't seen it. So more specifically on this manga here, it does start out similar to how it does in the anime for how Mugen and Jin meet. Basically stumbled upon an inn that Fu works at. Uh, basically picks a fight with some of the locals. Um, they're both very strong and pretty evenly matched. We have, again, Mugen has that sort of uh, crazy sort of dance type style fighting where you have Jin, which is more sort of a classic sort of samurai fighting style straight man so I think they do play off well off each other the art is okay tolerable the fight scenes are a little bit underwhelming which is kind of unfortunate since I think that's kind of one of the main draws here not that it looks particularly bad uh, it does have some honestly like comedy elements in here as well but again sort of underwhelming here uh, the stories later on have sort of similar feel and style to the actual anime itself so if you're looking for a couple more stories not um, playing out similar to the anime maybe you'd enjoy reading those but the plot doesn't necessarily go anywhere again I guess in the actual main series a lot of them are sort of individual story arc episodes with like little hints to this samurai that Boo's looking for, but this doesn't really get that far in two volumes here. And yeah, so it does, it doesn't cover a ton. I think on here it even says maybe to be continued at the end here. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, so. <laughs> basically a to be continued so it just kind of drops off here so I'd probably only recommend picking up this manga if you can pick it up cheap as well as being a really big fan of the anime you might want to pick this series up I don't think it's worth it to pick it up purely just for the story itself or if you haven't seen the anime since I it doesn't really go anywhere in terms of plot line the art style while nice and I think the sort of feel this manga gives is similar to the anime. I just, it can't really compare without the sort of music and animation to the fight scenes that sort of you get from the anime. So yeah, if you can pick it up for a decent price, maybe do that. But otherwise, I would probably just give this one a pass. And I hope you guys enjoy.